everyone, welcome to Michelle's. Thank you for watching my channel. I'm Michelle, and this is a intro video into my journey. I'm not going to touch on too many things today because I do want to make other videos about some of the stuff, but what I do want to talk about today is how I started the transition process and, and why I'm making the videos now. So to start, I work for a company called Petco, which is a f animal food and supply chain that also sells live animals. So I've been there for seven years and I started at the company with out knowing if they were inclusive, if they were um, part of the LGBTQ community. So I started there as my other half, I guess you could say, and it was a fantastic place to be. When I started, I was so terrified of telling people to, to, to be different when I had no reason to be afraid. So in this video, I am going to talk about my history a little bit of how I got to this point and to let everyone know that it's okay to be afraid and it's okay to be yourself. So to begin, I would like to say, so when I was about seven years old, um, I knew I had these feelings that were different than, than, than most. I didn't know what to make of them at that point. I knew I felt different and it was, it was scary. It, it was definitely scary. I, I liked things that other other boys didn't like and it was it felt weird it felt different to me and it didn't feel like it was normal so I never said anything I never wanted to be different I never wanted to be that outsider so fast forward I'm now 18 years old and I met my wife and we had three kids together we bought a house and we lived together for 20 years and we we were happy. I mean, there was ups and downs. And I did tell her originally um, that I was different, I guess. You know, I, I I didn't tell her that I eventually wanted to change because I didn't know that I was at that point or I was ever going to. I was a father. I was a husband. And I had no intentions of changing. But as the years went on, my gender dysphoria, which is like a like this this feeling deep inside your soul, and that you just you don't feel right. You don't feel like you're inside the right body, and it eats away at you. And it's it's not an awesome feeling. It just makes you it makes you feel depressed. It makes you feel sad all the time. And it's it's it feel you feel hopeless almost. So when I was about 34-ish, 35, I started watching YouTube videos. And those YouTube videos were super, super helpful, which again, thank you to all of those videos that were made and created to help get me started and get me going and to help explain how things work because I felt clueless. I knew how I felt inside, but I didn't know how to make it all work and how to start the journey. So first step was I started researching. I researched HRT, which is hormone replacement therapy. I started researching other transgender people to see their journey and how they went about the process. And I also started looking up doctors, like where, where do I go? How do, how do I start this process? And what I found was there's not a lot of doctors around that were, that were willing to treat someone with gender dysphoria. They weren't willing to treat someone on hormone therapy. They didn't have the knowledge. They didn't know what to do, how to prescribe. So eventually I found a doctor and it was terrifying. So now I found a doctor and I had all the research and the knowledge that I needed to get started. But how do I start it 
being married and with three kids. After I found all of this information, I sat on it for a long time. I didn't know what to do. I started kind of trying to put it back and put it aside and put it aside and forget that it even existed because it wasn't it wasn't right. It wasn't something that I should do. I was married and I had kids and I can't I can't transition. I can't be myself. I have to be this father figure. I have to be this husband. And after a while it just kind of ate away at me and ate away at me and until I couldn't stand it anymore. So one night I finally worked up the courage and I explained it to my wife. And that was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. To tell someone that you loved that you couldn't be this person anymore that she knew for 20 years. Or at the time it might have been like 17 or 16 years. And to see the emotion, to see all the things that went on, it was heartbreaking. And it was it was the, literally the hardest thing I had to do. After a few weeks and a few months of going through all of the information with her, talking about everything, how it all worked, she, she thought she understood. She started doing research of her own. And we talked about starting the hormone process. So I made that first phone call to the doctor, and which was in Boston, called Fenway Health, which they are fantastic, and it, they made me feel so great about that I made the right choice and that I was doing the right thing. And I made that first phone call, and I stepped into that office that first day, terrified of what was about to happen not wanting to admit who I was, that I've been hiding this person for such a long time. <clears throat> and finally I, I stepped into there and I, and, I, and I did it, and I did it. And it was, it was amazing. The doctors there were all fantastic, the staff was fantastic. And I got my first prescription of hormones. So now the hormones that they prescribe, and I'm not gonna get into like a lot of detail about it because that's, I'm gonna save all that for another video, but basically the, the two hormones they prescribed was estradiol, which was in a pill form, and that one you put under your tongue, and what that does is it dissolves under your tongue and it goes into your bloodstream. So the other one that they prescribed was called spironolactone, which is a <clears throat> testosterone blocker, and that one you just take daily, she'll, you know, and they, they figure out like a, a, like a milligrams to prescribe it to you. And I went and I filled up my prescriptions and I took my pills for the first time. And right when I took them, it was almost like a placebo effect of, obviously right when I took them, it didn't do anything right away, but it's still, my gender dysphoria was like almost instantly gone. And it was, it was, a, it was fantastic. It was amazing to feel that I had finally started on my journey. So I'm gonna kind of wrap up the video with that. I just wanted to give you an insight of how things became and, and, and why I'm making these videos. Um, I will be making more videos after this. Also, please like and subscribe if you like the content and you wanna see more. Also, don't forget to comment down below. Tell me about your journey, your experience. What, what, what have you gone through? What do you wanna see? What do you wanna hear? Uh, let me know. And again, thank you everyone for watching. Thank you for all the support and the love to everyone that has helped me through this time to get to where I'm at. And I hope that I can help at least just one of you with, with these videos. I will keep producing as many as I can, taking you through my journey up to this point. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.